Hey guys, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, in case that wasn't clear. Um, new merchandise, we now have stickers and also posters. I can't show the poster just yet, I don't have it um, in yet. I ordered one, um, it's pretty cool. It has the full timeline of Orange Pixel. It's available on the store already in uh, three different sizes. So check it out if you want an awesome, amazing poster with like all the characters of the Orange Pixel universe and the whole timeline. I'll talk to you about it probably next week because I'm expecting the posters tomorrow, well, any day now. So the stickers are already there as well. Right now it's just your Pixel logo, but looking into maybe doing stickers for certain characters or scenes or stuff. And uh, they're pretty big, they're 10 by nine centimeters. As you can see, it's like, it's pretty big for a sticker, but um, it does uh, look pretty cool, especially the glossy one with the very shiny, it's very awesome. So um, go check out the shop and if you want or hoodies like this or the Orange Pixel Hoodie or bunch of stuff there. And again, I'm not trying to sell it to everybody because I'm probably doing this mostly for myself. I have a sticker with my logo on it, a mug, a, a mouse mat. And I have a bunch of stuff with just my logo and my characters on it, which is just amazing. Um, anyway, uh, a few more things before we do the intro and the whole devlog. So first, um, the tile set contest for residual is still running. Um, you can still participate. There are already a bunch of great tile sets. I'll just show them in a minute. And um, I'm probably extending the deadline a little bit. So you have a little bit more time than February the 1st. Let's give it a couple of more weeks because I can still add these tile sets if they're good enough to the game later on. Again, I created tile set. Uh, the rules are on the Discord hash news channel. There's a template there. Download the template, create a tile set. If it's good enough to make it into the final game, um, you'll get a copy of the game, you'll get your credits in the game, and you'll get a Orange Pixel hoodie, which I actually now have with me. Um, Orange Pixel hoodie, um, different sizes available, so um, that's all pretty cool. And we got a bunch of interesting tile sets already. Um, let me just show you a couple of them. So these are all the tile sets that have been submitted so far by uh, various people. Um, some people submitted a couple of tile sets. Um, Pretty cool. There are some in this list already that I'm pretty confident they will be in the final game. They're they're good quality, like they're, they look really good. Um, I created little gameplay scenes of 16 seconds for now so that those people who made it can actually see how it looks in the game because it always looks a bit different having everything going now around and a light environment and things like that. So um, some pretty cool uh, tile sets here and there. So let me get go away Dropbox. So it's just very short and I'll cover these tile sets in more in depth later in a video and we'll fully go into it. But for now, uh, pretty cool little clips showing uh, the tile set in action. And we have one from here from Genji. They're also all pretty unique in style. So that's, that's really cool because we're going to be on alien planets and every planet is different. So the more variation in style we have, uh, the better. And this one is a little bit of a Japanese setting and vibe and it kind of works and why not? It, it works very well and um, I love all these tile sets and there's still people working on tile sets already saw a couple of previews on the Discord so um, pretty cool. So that contest is still running and again details on the Discord, the hash news channel. I haven't pushed any other messages there so it's I think the last message on there still. Uh, go check it out for the rules. It's pretty easy. It's a fun competition, multiple winners or uh, none. But right now I already know there are a couple of people will be happy. Their tile set has made it to the cut. Uh, they will be in the game. Not telling you which one, but a couple of those are pretty good. So um, join in, participate and have some fun with it. And like I said, I will do a full video on a bunch of tile sets. Just talk about all these tile sets and give some feedback on them and, and what makes them work or what makes them not work in the game. Uh, we'll do a video about that in a couple of weeks. So um, I think that's the most important stuff. Let's talk about residual and all the stuff I've been doing on the game this week because a uh, bunch of interesting things like I probably say every week, but this week it's very true. It's true every week because uh, never mind. Um, intro, we'll talk about residual.
Okay, so these tile sets are amazing and um, they inspired me to do some artwork as well, even though I originally planned to do all this artwork later and first focus on all the code that needs to be done. But I got so inspired to do some art and every now and then um, you just need to mix up your code and your art. So uh, this week I actually drew some of the parallax backgrounds. It's pretty much everything you see behind the tile set uh, above the planet and not underground. Underground is pretty much the background is dark, but above ground there's a whole parallax planet. And um, let me just show you how those graphics look. So those those graphics are pretty much uh, different layers that we see in the background. So we have the furthest background and something in front, something in front of that. And here we have a small version, which is pretty much what you see when you crash or the crash intro of a new planet. So then you know what you're going to be crashing onto. And um, this one was already in the game, but I didn't like the color scheme and I didn't like the, the growth below because it was much bigger. And it just didn't look right and I never liked it. It was in the game for a couple of months, but I never really liked it. So I modified this one and then I also added a couple of others. So um, well, let's just boot up the game for a bit and go to a planet that I've been testing. Um, this is one of the new backgrounds already. already. Um, it's very uh, red, but I think that's currently the heated version. Every planet graphics come in three different versions. We have very hot planets, we have cold planets where it's snowy and we have the normal planets. And um, let me just change it to a couple of other backdrops. So this is the green one and let me change it to a normal hour of the day. Um, the green, and I'm not a fan of green colors, but you would have noticed if you look at this game, it has a lot of green going on, especially this planet. It's just um, very green, but it kind of works. It does give an alien or a lush graphical vibe to the planet. So. Um, not bad and we have this same backdrop as a cold version which is exactly the same backdrop but different color settings so it's now very bluish it's now has snow here and there and um, then of course we also have a hot planet version which is more red and um, normally the front will also change based on this but right now i'm just cheating my way through these backdrops so um Normally there would be a lot less growth on the planet if it's very hot. It would be more a desert-like planet. But for now, we're cheating. And this is the one I just mentioned. This is the normal version of this backdrop. So uh, normal conditions, um, not cold, not hot, just your average planet. And then of course we have a cold version. And again, it comes in a more purplish, bluish tone. Just gives that vibe of being more cold. And again, what's some snow here and there. And of course the red version, which we just saw, uh, planet is extremely hot. And then I managed to create another backdrop, which is this one. I um, really like this one. And this was just one uh, attempt or, well, the original colors were a little bit different and I'll just show you in a minute how I created this one. But um, I really like the end result. And of course a cold version with a lot of snow in the background. And um, the character just got cold as well, but that's because he's out of food. All right. And let me go back to a day hour. And let's try out the hot version of this planet. There we go. It's not extremely red as the previous one, but that's a nice amount of variation we get when you just try different planets and play on different planets. So let me show you how I create these backgrounds. All right, so the first thing I do is create an interesting looking sky and I just pick a couple of colors that I think will work and most likely I'll end up changing these but you need some base to work on. And then we start with uh, the back layer. And this is all flat colors. So um, it's mostly shapes and just drawing different shapes and make it look interesting. Now it's very easy to create big objects and things like that while it's in the background, but it does need to fit with everything that's happening on the front. So you don't want to put too much detail in there. And that can be a challenge at times, but um, this flat color scheme actually kind of works. So uh, we first create that back layer, then we create a layer on top of it, and we start to uh, mix and match those colors. 
and we create different shapes and interesting things and eventually we'll end up with uh, different layers that make up the background. Now it's very rare to have a background that just works in one go, especially the color. So the first thing I do is just try this in the game, see how it looks, and then I might change the colors a little bit, which is just uh, simple stuff. I'm not gonna redraw stuff. It's just changing the colors. Every paint program has options for that. Change the UI, change the color. And um, for the background, I'm not sticking too much to the palette of the main game mostly because that's too limiting for the background there's just you can't have too much contrast going on behind there and if we only use a palette of 48 colors i think i have there's just going to be too much color or too much contrast or it just doesn't work with everything in the front so um the background artwork is pretty much open for all color types it just has to look like an alien planet in the distance. Okay, so I've been doing some background and graphic work, uh, but that's mostly because the rest of the week I was diving very deep into a lot of code. A um, Couple of months ago, I talked about the life forms on this planet and they are pretty much procedurally created. So the computer takes um, a random head, a random body and a random tail, combines them into one creature, and that means um, there's a lot of variation in types of creatures you're going to encounter over all your gameplay sessions. And um, I like adding databases and codex things into the games. So uh, that's what I've been working on this week. We're going to be able to scan these life forms. And once you scan them, they'll be in a sort of DNA database. And from that point on, you can just uh, browse that database even when you're not in a game. So. This is going to be permanently unlocked at every creature you encounter and scan. You will have to actually scan these creatures else they won't register in your database. Um, but they'll show up in the database and you'll be able to see uh, the type of creatures they are. What do they like to eat? Are they eating a lot of fruit or are they eating meat? Which means probably you. Um, things like that. What's their average temperature? Uh, when do they sleep? Are they night or day creatures? Things like that. So we now have a cool little interface. All right, so I don't need to start an extra game. You can just go into the options and I moved a bunch of stuff here as well. But anyway, back to the codex and the stats. Right now, it's just one thing, the Residex. And thanks for the tip on Discord for this name instead of Pokedex. It's now a Residex. And right now, there's just one creature in my Residex. I only scanned one life form. But you can now see all this information. Um, what type it is. Does it eat plants, meat or both? Um, is it a day or night creature? And this needs some better outlining. We also have its temperature. Uh, it loves to be in an environment that is between 10 and 32 degrees Celsius. And again, in the options, you can change this to Fahrenheit. If you're, I mean, well, this is just the normal way of calculating things. And there's that other way it's, it's available in the options. Same goes for the white and the height, uh, the weight and the height. How much does it weigh? How big is it? And this is actually uh, just a little trickery. Uh, this is based on the size of the creature, which of course makes sense as it is in real life. But uh, we just calculate the amount of pixels and we multiply it by a certain value to get to these values that are pretty much made up. But they seem to make sense. This is not a huge creature compared to the player. So it's one meter and 26 centimeters. And of course we can also register where we first encountered this one. And we also show the address of this planet right here uh, because I have an idea to allow players to at some point just type in a certain address and go search for things. And this also spawned another idea. And I think this happened on Discord talking to a couple of people. Um, what if we have artifacts on a planet scattered around planets but it would be awesome if players can then share this knowledge with other players because uh, let's say you find something very unique a little golden statue of a gunslugs character for some weird reason it's out there on a planet you find it and your friend says whoa where did you find it where can i get it well i have the address right here but you have to wait for a random game session to actually put you on that planet um, very unlikely because there's a lot of planets out there so um, there need to be some sort of way where the player can enter address and just go to a specific planet in search for a specific item that's there so i um, haven't really fully figured out what that's going to be just yet but there are hypergates in the game so maybe you'll have to unlock some sort of hypergate battery 
And as soon as you have one of those batteries, you can actually make a jump to a planet. Uh, instead of starting a new game on a random planet, you'll be allowed to um, enter coordinates of a certain planet. So that's one thing I am working on. But I also want a list or database of the planets you've played already. You either survived it or you died on it, but it's going to be a list of planets you've played before. And you're going to be able to just uh, return to those planets instead of starting a new game. So there will be multiple ways to uh, replay or discover various planets. And these addresses will be the same for everybody if I programmed everything all right. So um, once you go to a planet, it will always be the same. So certain items that are very rare to that planet will always be on that planet, which I think could be a very cool and interesting thing. If we have a lot of people playing this game and getting really into it, they'll be able to share coordinates and tell each other you have to go there and there to find this and that. And then if you have all of these pieces, you'll unlock this and that. And stuff like that and i know i'm nearing the release of a game or the completion of a game and there's still so many ideas in my head but i just have to see if i can all fit this into the game uh, but because i can't keep working on the game for for eternity so i have to round it off at some point but these ideas i think they are pretty easy to implement and that's all the stuff i'm gonna be working on in the coming weeks all right and that's it for this week's video um one more thing before we end this, um, in my first video of the year I mentioned I want to cooperate with uh, people on games or, or things or either an artist or a game developer. I got an overwhelming amount of messages and emails from you guys and thanks, amazing. Right now I'm still working on residual and that's my main focus and we're working on the porting of residual but also the porting of all my other games. So. There's a lot on my plate already and it's just January. It's, it's like so much stuff has already happened this first couple of weeks. I am replying to everyone and I think I already replied to everyone right now. Um, it's all in my head and I'm also thinking about it of all the different skills you guys have and bring to the table and if there's somebody who I can work with on something and I have some ideas already. This usually just takes a little bit of time, especially right now a residual is just my main thing it's a plan for the whole year and not just let's do this in January and have it done in February. So um, I'll get to you and we'll make stuff work. It's just been overwhelming the amount of re return on this I had and it was just a mention in my plan video. So um, my head is full of ideas and uh, full of things of what people might be able to bring to the table. So I'll, more on that later this year if all goes to plan and um, First, I'm gonna finish up residual. So uh, thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Subscribe, comment below, notification bell because um, you need to get notified. I'm uploading multiple videos now here and there. There will be Tech Talk Tuesday videos as well. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to comment below, like, subscribe, notification bell. There will be a couple of extra videos here and there on the Tuesday. This is mostly a Tech Talk Tuesday video, so they're gonna be uh, technical, but I also might be squeezing in a couple of pixel art videos, just me doing pixel art. And um, I have some ideas where I can just ask people on the Discord or something, on the Discord, by the way. I'll ask people on the Discord, that's a good one, for some ideas for me to draw. And then I'll draw that in pixel art and record it. And that might be some fun videos to see on uh, Tech Talk Tuesday. So, um, that's it for now. I'm gonna edit this video and continue on residual. See you next week. Bye.